I want to talk about one of my favorite methods of link building. And this is link building outreach related to link roundups. It's an area where I've personally had the most success with. And one part of it that you're going to like in particular is that there are no need to get any paid premium tools for it. You can do it just with a Google search engine, a spreadsheet, and a free database tool that we're going to talk about in a little bit later in this video. Um, one nice thing about this also is that you don't have to do any research ahead of time for link roundup re uh, outreach. Uh, you can write your blog post, you know, your amazing blog post, and then find link roundups to do outreach to after the fact. This will contrast with some other types of outreach that we're going to talk about in other videos like skyscraper technique or maybe broken link building. Uh, and because th those necessitate that you first, you know, use uh, certain research tools to come up with a topic that's a good fit for that particular type of outreach. And uh, before we get into how to do the research for link roundups, let's talk just real quick. What is a link roundup? Well, link roundups are periodic curated blog posts and newsletters that share content from around the internet focusing on one particular topic or theme. And they're typically recurring posts uh, done by a blog to share new relevant content. I want to share a, just a screenshot just showing some examples of what uh, roundup posts look like. As you can see in this roundup post example that we have, it's a weekly roundup on web design and digital marketing. Uh, typically, these roundup posts will uh, scour the internet. These blogs will look for new interesting articles on a given subject and or industry. Uh, and you can find roundups on nearly every subject there is. Um, all it takes is some time to find them. Uh, and with our outreach campaign, what we're going to do, we're going to find blogs that do uh, recurring uh, roundup posts on a given topic we are going to find ones that are related to the topic that we're, we've written about. We're going to then find their contact information of the blog uh, and then add them to our spreadsheet to reach out to them later. And then we are going to create a personalized outreach email to reach out to them saying, hey, uh, I have a piece of content that I think would be great fit for your next outreach newsletter, blog post, whatever. Um, I think, think you should add it and hopefully get them to add that to their next uh, piece. One thing that I like in particular about outreach for link roundups is that in reaching out to them, if your content is good, you're doing this person a huge favor and saving them time. Because generally with link roundup articles, these blogs need to scour the internet for new posts on a given topic or related to their industry, and they take a lot of time to curate that great quality content. But if your content is good quality and it's related to what their roundup is publishing about, then you giving them this content is doing them a favor and it's, you know, provided it's relevant to their audience, it's going to be great content for their roundup. So really, it's a win-win for you and for the blog that you're reaching out to. Uh, and I think about this, you know, more so than other types of link building outreach that you might be doing. This is just a huge win for everybody. And I think this is why, in particular, link roundup outreach has a higher success rate. And that's just personally, I've had more success with link roundup outreach than other methods. So with, you know, with any type of outreach, we're trying to provide value in exchange for a backlink. But with Roundup posts in particular, your contact contact is actively searching for this type of content and you are sending it to them and ultimately saving them time. So now I want to talk about the different uh, elements of what we're going to need for our link Roundup outreach. The first thing that we're going to need is Google. Google is our friend here. And for link roundups, this is going to be our primary method of research. We're going to be using some more advanced Google search operators for this. And like, if you're not familiar, there are things that you can type in a Google aside from a plain text search term to get results. Um, 
this example that we have on screen is just showing uh, an example of some uh, link roundups, uh, but we're going to be using some more advanced search operators. So one of them is just, for example, in title. If you type into Google in title followed by a colon, you can get results that follow a specific format. In this example, I have in title followed by another word or phrase in quotes. That word or phrase has to show up in the title of the article or the search every search result that shows up. So in this example, if I search for, you know, in title colon link roundup, then every single result that shows up that Google's going to provide me has to have link roundup in their article title. I also add SEO to this because let's say I want uh, SEO to be the subject of the link roundup. And this is a way to get that to happen. Another type of search operator is in URL. So if you type in in URL followed by a colon and, uh, and then another any other term, uh, any website that Google shows you in the search results is going to have uh, a chosen uh, phrase show up in it. So for example, if you search for in URL colon sandwich, the web address has to have the word sandwich in that web address. And, you know, that's all well and great, but I just want to kind of show you breaking down how this works. So uh, as you see in this example, I have in title colon and then the search query. Uh, if I type in bacon, egg and cheese, why not? Uh, I have to have the term bacon, egg, and cheese show up in the title of that URL. And this is going to be helpful for link roundups because link roundup or roundup post or roundup is going to be what we want to be in the title tag or the URL of the article. There are going to be some other examples that we have, uh, modifiers and things, but that's going to be kind of the main thing. So. Uh, the first kind of example searches that I would do if I were you looking to do, find roundups is just in title or in URL colon followed by roundup or link roundup and then the topic or industry you're in to find roundup posts related to your industry or topic. It's really that easy. I, I It's just so simple and it's a free search you can do and it does all gets all the results that you're looking for. Um, another type of search to do, you know, you want to be exhaustive. So also search for just regular link roundup in quotation marks, followed by your keyword, uh, to find, uh, any roundup posts related to your keyword. Um, just, you know, just in case that you couldn't, there's, they have things that you maybe couldn't have seen in the in title or in URL searches. Uh, there are also some modifiers to consider, um, as we want to be exhaustive and find all the po all the link roundup posts we can, some roundups you know say that they're like uh, like a weekly digest or something you know fanciful related to their topic, but like weekly, daily, top posts use these uh, search terms in addition to like roundup or your keyword uh, to just try and these different combinations and see if you can find maybe more roundup posts that you couldn't cover with the others. Uh, I also like the term newsletter because some roundup articles don't like, they don't necessarily, necessarily use the term roundup, but they might say like, we are the SEO newsletter or we are the dental industry newsletter. And they may do roundup posts and curated content but they may not call themselves a roundup because their audience doesn't necessarily know what a roundup post is. Uh, they just see that these are the top posts or weekly posts or relevant posts in their given subject or industry or what have you. So these are some other modifiers to try and use as well. One other thing I want to talk about is uh, Google's advanced tools. Uh, as I've kind of shown here in this screenshot, we want to find recent posts, recent roundup posts, because there are often blogs that will maybe do roundup posts for a while and then stop doing them. And you don't want to end up reaching out to a blog that isn't doing roundup articles anymore. It's just going to be a waste of your time and theirs. And you don't want to reach out to them and then say back to you, 
yeah, we're not doing Roundup articles anymore. We can't help you out. So it's just a waste. So what you can do is click on the tools button in your search bar and filter by uh, the past year or past week or past month to see uh, results for Roundup posts that have been published in uh, the past year or month or your time period just to make sure that these Roundup articles are current. Um, and so at this point, I've really shown you how to find Roundup articles um, and you should be adding them to a tracking spreadsheet that you're keeping. Uh, so let's talk about that. Uh, you're going to need to track a few different fields in particular. Uh, some of the information you're not going to have at this point, but we're going to get it in our next step in finding contacts. But we're going to need to track, at the very least at this step, for every Roundup post you find, throw, take their URL and add it to a line in your spreadsheet. Uh, for each Roundup article we find, we're going to ultimately need a contact's name and their email address. And also you should be tracking for each uh, Roundup post what their Roundup is about. So if it's an industry Roundup, mention, you know, take a note on what their Roundup is about, uh, or if it's topic specific, what the topic is about, because in our outreach email, we're going to want to mention that so it doesn't just come off generic so that we can say, hey, I really liked your roundup on X. Uh, I have a good article that I think would be a great fit for your next roundup post. So once you have all of that in your spreadsheet, it's time to match that Link Roundup website with an email address for a contact person that you can reach out to. Uh, if you don't know how who to reach out to at the blog, you can also find it out in this next step, and that's with using Hunter.io. Hunter.io is a database tool that helps you find anyone's email address. You just insert the web address that you're trying to find a contact for and hunter.io will spit back out any email addresses that they have of contacts uh, at that URL. Now, they may not have your specific contact that you need to reach out to, but they may at the very least know in email configuration. So like if I throw in offsprout.com, uh, Hunter.io may know, all right, there's a person at Offsprout named Sam whose email configuration is first name at Offsprout.com. We think that if you're trying to reach anyone else at Offsprout, you should try using that configuration of first name at. And so basically Hunter.io can give you an idea of what your the person that you're trying to reach, their email address configuration is going to be. So that's really helpful, even if they don't have the exact person in their database. It's really just as good. Uh, and next, you're gonna once you have all of that, you're going to need to create uh, an email template. Uh, thankfully, we have email templates for you that you can go off with and and use as a building block and starting point. You can check out postdaga.com/dl and uh, see our email templates for link building outreach. Now, aside from that, let's kind of get into uh, the topic and talk about uh, outreach. Uh, with an outreach email for link, uh, for link roundups, you really have kind of four things that you have to check off your list uh, in, your, in that your email needs to meet these certain objectives to increase the likelihood that the recipient opens your email, reads it, and then wants to reply to it positively. Uh, the first thing is that you need to make it seem like you're human. Uh, email outreach is very common. Tons of blogs get outreach every day. And a lot of the time, outreach is done very in a shoddy way uh, where it can come off as automated, impersonal, and robotic. And chances are, if you send me a robotic sounding email, I'm just gonna skip it because I assume that you have no idea what my blog is about. And one way to help with that is to not send an email to like hello at or contact at or info at the recipient's domain. You're better off trying to guess that person's email address and getting a bounce back and then trying again 
rather than sending to some generic inbox that just doesn't, that shows that you don't know where who it's going to. Uh, next in your email, you need to show appreciation, show some love, uh, show that you know what their roundups are actually about you know, flatter them, um, <laughs> let them know that you really know about their roundups and appreciate the work they do. Uh, and that goes, flattery goes a long way. It'll help you also stand out from all the other requests that they're getting for, for people to have their content added to these roundups. Uh, next, you have to show that you're not wasting their time. Unsolicited emails are tricky. You need to show that you know who the recipient is, you know who the, what their content is about, and that you're not asking for something irrelevant. I've gotten tons of emails, outreach emails from blogs that uh, I've managed, and I can't tell you how many times it's been clear that someone just fired off an outreach email without doing the research to understand my website or blog. Because if they did, they know that we wouldn't be a good fit. And so me reading their email is just wasting time out of my day, and I'm not going to want to help them. And people assume from unsolicited emails that you want something from them. But with a sincere, non-robotic tone and showing that you are a real person who knows about the recipient, you can show them that you are not an automated bot who's wasting their time and that you want to provide some value for them. And speaking of that... Our last thing is we want to show show that our content is a good fit, you know. And if you've taken care of steps one to three, you should at the very least get some consideration. So now let's take a look at a sample email template, and I want to break down kind of these sentences and why I've written the email how I have. So you know, it starts out, "Hey, first name," you know. Uh, as any email to an acquaintance should sound. It also, you know, doesn't sound fake, like, hello, website.com. Then we get right to the point, you know, saying that we know about their content, and if they've been around for a while, if their blog, if they've been doing a lot of Roundup posts, they've definitely gotten this kind of outreach email before, and they know what you're going to be asking for them. Regardless, it's fine. Next, we have the ask. I have a blog post that is in the realm of your Roundup articles. Can you please include it? And when we're, remember that if your post is relevant, you're doing the recipient a favor by finding a good article for their readers. Next, we're going to tell them what our article is about and why it's relevant and worth checking out. If you don't, they might not click the link to your post. You know, God forbid they assume that you're a robot and your link is actually a phishing attempt or a virus or something. So show your recipient that it's worth their time to click that link to your blog article. Then, uh, kind of for them, say that you'll be happy to share their roundup on social media with your audience. It's a nice gesture and it shows that you care and are willing to do something for them too. And then close with a line like, thanks for your consideration, or something else to show your appreciation. And that is the breakdown of our email template. Like I said before, you can download our template emails at postaga.com slash DL for all different types of email outreach. So rounding everything off, let's recap link roundup, link building outreach. Uh, kind of to recap all these steps, First, we're going to go to our friend Google to search for Roundup posts using some of our different search operators like in title and in URL, and we're going to try modifiers like weekly or monthly along with our target keyword. Then we're going to get these contacts added to our master outreach spreadsheet, and then we're going to use hunter.io to find email addresses for these contacts. And then after that, we're going to send our personalized outreach emails uh, and then follow up with them. We can also get copies of our spreadsheet uh, template as well as template emails to send at postaga.com slash DL. And this has been link building using the link roundup method. If you have any questions, please add them in the comment section uh, and like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.